So today we're heading to the beach, our first ride out there. And I hope to talk on this video as we ride out to the beach uh, a little bit about what it's like out here on the central coast, which is where I live and uh, where I shoot all these videos at. So uh, the central coast, what is it like? I'll tell you in a nutshell, it is a really cool place to live. Uh, not many people know about the area. It's uh, kind of a hidden gem. Uh, when people think about California, they typically think about one of the larger cities, such as San Francisco, San Diego, Los Angeles, and those each are really cool in their own right. But um, there's something you get from the Central Coast that you can't get from any of those. And that's what I want to kind of get into a little bit today. What is it like here on the Central Coast? Is it a place that would be something you'd be interested in visiting or possibly even moving to? So the re main reason that I really like... Let's get on across here. Yeah. <laughs> the main reason why I really like the Central Coast is the weather. I mean, let's be honest. Uh, the weather can make a big difference uh, in in your enjoyment in life, in my opinion. And I come from uh, originally living in Texas, a small town called Lubbock. And I say small town, uh, but compared to out here, it's actually a large town uh, compared to where I live here. So, um, yeah, seeing people all over the place with their um, their tops down on their cars. Uh, it's just kind of a fun beach atmosphere, and that's one of the reasons I really like it. Um, you get that in the uh, larger uh, cities out here as well, which is really cool. But here you get all of the things you get in the larger cities, um, but with more of a small town feel. If that's more your vibe, is having a small town but still getting kind of that coastal beach atmosphere, then this is kind of uh, what I would say would be the place for you. So out here, um, you have uh, what they call the five cities. And it's a bunch of small towns. They're not even really cities. Um, with typically under 100,000 uh, people each. Let's see, I think this is where we're going here. Yep. And, uh, you know, some of those towns are as small as 10 or 15,000 people. Some are closer to 100,000. Um, but they each also typically have kind of what they call out here a microclimate. And so on any given day, if it does get hot in one of these areas, you can drive literally 20 minutes away. It could be 100 degrees in one of those cities and 20 minutes away it'll be 65. It is crazy the difference you can get in in climates uh, out here just because of the the coastal nature. Uh, you know up high on the grades uh, it's typically a lot warmer. Down low by the ocean it's typically a lot cooler and that's probably one of the big differences of here compared to one of the southern uh, cities such as San Diego. Uh, you don't have quite as hot of beaches. It's more of a, uh, you do have days where it's hot, but the majority of the time out here, it's pretty much right at about 70 degrees all the time. Um, I, I don't wanna make it sound like it's like that every day. You do have bad weather occasionally, but it's few and far between. In fact, uh, kind of an interesting fact about out here, one of these small towns in the Five Cities area is named Napomo. And it was actually supposed to have been a Jeopardy question uh, as to what the most temperate climate in the United States is. And the answer is the city of Napomo. So if that kind of gives you an idea as to uh, what the weather is like here, that is definitely a big pro. Also coming from a very landlocked area there in Texas, it's really nice to be able to come out here and be close to the ocean. Um, there's something about living next to the ocean, knowing that you can go, you know, a few minutes out 
and just go get that kind of relaxing uh, feel that you can get from the ocean is, is really nice. Do we do it all the time? No. Do I wish I had more time to go to the beach? Yes. But even just knowing that you got it there really makes a big difference on your mental state. So the uh, living close to the beach out here, really awesome. Another thing that's great about the Central Coast is the outdoor activities that you can be involved in. Uh, again, my background growing up in Texas, um, it was windy and it was either windy hot or windy cold. And there wasn't much in between. Out here, the wind is, is very non-existent and you always have that kind of perfect temperature. So it really encourages ones to be out and be active. And part of that is just seeing other people being out and active. It makes you want to go do it. it. It kind of reminds you, oh yeah, I can go out and go running just like that guy over there. Or, or I can go on a hike. Um, and if you're not familiar with hiking uh, too much in your area, it's actually really fun to do. That ahead is Grover Beach. It looks like they've got it closed off somehow. Um, we'll maybe go there another day, but today we're going to a small beach called Pismo Beach. This is actually one of the more touristy attractions out here. Um, but hiking uh, out here, they really curate the hikes uh, and create nice bridges and benches and, and uh, man-made trails uh, rested against the natural uh, background of the hills and the ocean in the distance and I tell you it, it's a fun way to get some exercise get out and get some fresh air and man we have some sort of traffic oh somebody's trying to turn is what it is <laughs> oh gotta love it um, but uh, yeah outdoor activities here are very fun a few other things that I like to do out here are uh, mountain biking uh, they also have trails out here for mountain biking um, you can go on a hike up to the top of a mountain and uh, bring a picnic with you, eat your lunch or dinner, what's up man? And look out on the ocean while you do so and then hike back down. There, there's just all sorts of cool things like that. They have marathons going out here and 5Ks and 10Ks. You have uh, out at the beach, we used to have a kayak and we would go out and kayak at the beach, uh, that area. Um, surfing. Uh, we've got into surfing since we've been out here and you just have such a plethora of uh, things to do out here. A what? A plethora. That it really makes for an interesting place to live. So if you're an outdoorsy person, you like uh, going and doing things outdoors, I definitely think this would be the place for you. Um, they also have sand dunes out here. Uh, if you're into that, you, know, you can take a four-wheeler, motorcycles, buggies, whatever. Take it out to the dunes. And it looks like today there are some tourists out here. As there normally is. This is the middle of the week, so I'm kind of surprised. But we're going to drive on down here to the beach, see if we can walk around a little bit and kind of show you what the beaches out here on the Central Coast are like. I actually really like this downtown area. You can walk around, do some shopping, grab some snacks. You got a really awesome cinnamon roll place down here at the end. Oh, it is to die for. Hopefully we can find some parking down here and we'll go ahead and walk around the beach a little bit, give you a little bit of that shot.
so that there is Pismo Beach on the central coast of California. I hope you enjoyed uh, this information here and seeing this beach. We'll have more beaches to come out here on the central coast. There's a few of them and um, I really hope to hear back from you guys. Uh, leave any comments that you have, uh, questions, uh, feedback in general. Love to hear from you and we'll catch you in the next one.